When you've been doing this job for five years, it's sometimes tricky coming up with fresh things to say about new restaurants. Luckily, Glenda's got my back. When you think about restaurants, especially great seafood, you don't have to venture much farther. Mariscos La Serena. Glenda, next to the oyster bar, it's on me. And hell, do you know anywhere around here that serves good seafood? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, totally, totally. What's yeah. the name of the place? Mariscos La Serena. Mariscos La Serena. Mariscos La Serena. I know where I'm at. Yeah. <laughs> she knows where she's at. What can they expect when they walk through those doors and swim in the seas of your restaurant? The best seafood in all Chicago. That is a hell of a boy. You're just plopping into the sea right there. I'd normally say a steak in the ground, but because this is our seafood episode, it's gonna be a ton of seafood gags. What would be a good reflection of what you guys do here? You can either try the cucarachas, langostinos, or the piña rellena. It's one of the most famous uh, plates we serve in this restaurant. That last one, Jaime, suggested that we come here and have that. So that should be what we make. Am I going to be cooking with you or am I cooking with someone else? Uh, you're going to be with Alfredo. Does he like seafood gags? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Very much. Awesome! Yeah, very much. Angel informs me that you love seafood jokes. If I say something stupid, you'll actually laugh. <laughs> yeah, Is that true? I promise I will laugh. <laughs> That's already a good start, because I didn't say anything funny and he's already laughing. We're also not just a stupidly funny show, we're a little bit educational. So the name of the dish we're making today is... Piña rellena. Which roughly translates into stuffed pineapple. Correct, yeah. Thank me later. Thank you very much. Our stuffed pineapple starts with mushrooms, peppers, and of course, more pineapple. Uh, maybe a little seasoning. Hi, right, Skipper. It's another seafood gag. Now for our star ingredients, shrimp and octopus. This is where Alfredo, I won't shake it up in the air and pretend to impress you because I don't want to lose any pieces <laughs> of octopus or shrimp. With a dash of cream, it's time to load up our boat. Oh, final thing, some cheese on top. My ship's about to sail, so I'll see you at high tide out in the restaurant. God, I'm killing it with the seafood gags. Don't leave me hanging. All right. I'm a pineapple lover. So when I saw it in the pineapple, I was like, oh my God, what is that? The moment I saw the cheese, I was like, oh, I'm sold. How would you tackle a dish like that? Full force head first, actually. Full force head first. <laughs> Dig right into it, make sure you get enough pineapple with it and come right on back up. Kind of like you, you kind of dive, you know, a little dive. See, I'm not the only one with the seafood gags today. You could charter this thing in Lake Michigan, in Chicago on the weekend. <laughs> Should we dive off the deep end? Let's get okay, into it, yep. Yeah. The cheese through the cream, through the, the vegetables and the pineapple in there. And then when you finally hit the shrimp and the octopus, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Gonna have a set of bed in my style, man. I'm glad, glad you liked it. To seafood, to you. Cheers. My terrible gags. Cheers.